Welcome back everybody. I hope you had a nice break. So let's start then with our first concept. If we take a look at our concept map, this will be the meaning of the microenvironment. So let's start with that one. Now before we can start with the meaning of the microenvironment, you have to understand where the microenvironment lies. Now if we take a look at this, this little picture here I made for you, you get the three environments any business will have that has an influence on that business. Now the first one obviously is today's lesson we will look at the microenvironments. Now I'm drawing a little house here for you because the microenvironment is actually the business itself. It's everything that happens inside the business that we as the business can control. Then the next environment is outside of the business and this is our market environment. Now when you think of a market where you buy stuff, this is where the transactions will take place. And our last environment then, of course, is our macro environment, our environment, the macro environment, which is the biggest environment that has an influence in the business. Now, if you look at this little box at the corner, always remember, do not confuse the micro with the macro environment, because there is a big difference between the two. Now, let's take a look at the meaning of the micro environment. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the micro environment is the smallest environment. It's everything that happens inside the business. We also talk about the internal environment, everything that happens in the four walls of the business. Then we can also say that it's all the affairs that happens in the business that is managed by the directors. Now, our directors is actually the management of a company. So all that happens in our micro environment can be managed by the managers or the directors or the owners of the business. Therefore, we have full control over what happens in the micro environment. So now that we know the definition or the meaning of the micro environment, let's start and look at a few of the components of the micro environment. So we are going to start with these components in the blue block, that is the vision, mi vision, mission, statements, goals and objectives, and as well as the organizational culture, resources and structure. Now the vision, mission statements, objectives and goals are four concepts, but it's only one component. All right, so we have to remember that it's only one thing in that is classified in the micro environment as a whole. Okay, so the first one is then our vision. Our vision, remember in the new words, we said it's the dream of the business. So we can also say that it describes the long-term goal of the business, what the business wants to achieve in the long run. The second thing of this concept, of this component, is the mission statement. And the mission statement, remember we said it relates to the product or the service. So it gives us a description of what the business provides. What, what, what do we produce? What is the service we deliver? Our goals are our long-term plans again. But remember, these long-term plans relate to the Product. So what do we want to achieve with our product in the long term? And our objectives says, how do we achieve these goals? So let me give you an example of a vision, mission statement, goals and objectives. So if we look at Sandra Peters, let's say Sandra Peters has a business where she manufactures clothing then her vision will be something like she wants to be the leading female clothing brand in Gauteng. So that's her dream for her business. It doesn't say anything about her product or her service, just what she wants for her business. So when we look at the mission statement, we say that she wants to provide quality products and modern clothing to her lady customers. Her goal then will be to increase her local sales by 5%. So that is what she wants to achieve with her product. The objective then says, 
how does she wants to, want to achieve this? She wants to increase her marketing or maybe even decrease her prices. So now we can understand that the vision gives us the dream for the business. The mission statement gives us the dream for our product. The goal is what we want to achieve on the long term of our product and the objectives is how we want to achieve them. So it is very important, please, do not confuse the vision statement or the vision rather with the mission statement because the vision is the dream for the business and the mission statement focuses on the product or the service. Our second component then is our organizational culture. Now your organizational cultures describes how you do business or how you run your business. The culture can differ from a business that allows employees to wear jeans, they address each other on their first names, John and Susan, or it can be a business that is more formal where they come to work in suits and they uh, address each other on their surnames, Miss Morrison or Miss Smith. So when we look at the definition of the organizational culture, we will see that it says how things are done in the business. So how things are done in the business, meaning how employees communicate among themselves, how they talk to each other, how they dress, as well as how they do their admin. Uh, in organizational culture can be, do we do our admin on paper? Do we file everything or is it more informal where everything can be done on a computer, we email it to each other, etc. So this is our second component, the organizational culture. So let's move forward to our third component. Our third component of the microenvironment is the organizational resources. Now we have four organizational resources. This is the four things we need in a business to make the business run effectively. The first thing we need obviously is human resources. Now human resources is the people, it's the employees, it's the managers that make the business run. All right, so that's the first important thing we need in any business. The second resources we need is the physical resources. Now we sometimes speak about physical resources. We also refer to natural resources. This is our raw materials or the materials we need to produce our product. So this is our second resource we need. Our third resource we need, obviously, is money. So we talk about financial resources. How much money do we need to firstly start our business and to run our business? Then our fourth organizational resource we get in the microenvironment is our technological resources. Now this refers to the computers we use in our business, the software, and if you have a factory, this will be the machinery you use in your business and the software and computers you use to run the machinery. Of course, this is needed in any business. So these are the four organizational resources that you will find in any business. It's as our employees, the people, the materials we use to produce, the money we need to run the business, and of course, the technology we need to have our business thrive and be successful. Um, then the following component we are looking to is organizational structure. Now when you look at this little picture I put on the screen for you here, it is a small and very simple example of how an organizational structure looks like. So you will find on top the CEO, the main um, top management of the business, then your directors and then your workers. So it shows us the hierarchy of the business and who will give instructions to who, who will communicate with who, and it will also show the responsibilities and tasks of each of these people. So when we look at the definition of the organizational structure, we will see that the, that the structure shows us the different departments of the business and how the business is organized. So it will show us the level of authority, who's boss over who, who is responsible for what tasks? What is their job description? 
and it will also show us a line of communication. So who will get their orders and their talks from who? So how we will communicate with each other. And that is our organizational structure. Now that is it for now. Before we continue, it's time for another ad break.